Well, Monica Fitzgibbon shares some great news to celebrate the first annual National Catholic Sisters Week. The Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, enter this week with their third album, Lent at Ephesus, holding steady at number one spot on the Billboard magazine's classical traditional music charts for the third consecutive week. Wow. Yeah. So let's speak with Monica all the way in Naples, Florida, <laughs> where my parents are, by the way. Oh, yeah. Monica, first of all, it's not fair that you're in Naples and smiling about it, because I know that's why you're smiling right now, because you know how cold it's it is. I know I'm not to brag. <laughs> yeah, well, it's okay. Listen, I mean, I'm just happy for you. I'm not happy for us, but I'm happy for you. Um, Lent at Ephesus is another hit for the sisters. Tell us how the CD is being received. Well, you know, uh, and thank you for having me on, both of you. It's such an honor. I'm such a fan of Catholic TV. Um, really... You know, my husband and I have this company, you know, DeMont for Music, and, and we always joke, it's not like we sat down and said, you know, we're going to take nuns to the top of the charts, you know, <laughs> that wasn't the plan, but the Holy Spirit kind of, you know, uses us weaklings, and, and there you have it, but they are a monastic group of nuns in the Midwest, and my husband and I have a background in entertainment for many years. I worked for DreamWorks and he worked for Sony Music. And, uh, you know, really, honestly, we were real music people. And um, we kind of got in this, you know, thing where we were doing the same thing over and over again. And we wanted to bring unique music out into the world. And so, as people often do, just send us a lot of different music. and. Uh, we heard this sort of homegrown CD that the sisters made, but we could tell that they had a kind of a classical music background, and it was different. So we went, we heard them, and we were really touched by uh, the beauty of their music and have put it out, and others have too, whether they're experiencing it you know, in just a, for the art of it or whether they're getting a deeper Lenten uh reflection out of it. I think it's more what you were saying, Jay, is that we have a busy life mm -hmm. and people like this beautiful, quiet music. You know, Monica, sometimes people say life is one long Lent and they think of Lent as this dour <laughs> thing. But the music from the album is so ethereal and uplifting. How are the selections made? Well, uh, Father, those would all be from the sisters and we just asked them to choose selections that they would normally sing because this isn't like a choir that gets together every Tuesday night and kind of practices. I mean, we just wanted to document that which was already happening. So they chose um, songs that were kind of what they thought were the best of what they sing after mass or during vespers, that kind of thing. Okay. How was it, what was it like to work with the sisters? It must have been a blast. They are fun. I mean, I have to say, you think, okay, well, they're monastic and they're, you know, they're not cloistered. They're kind of hidden, but um, they, they're very joyful. And as Father just said, that's reflected in their music, even though, of course, they're at the foot of the cross with Our Lady and St. John the Evangelist during, you know, our Lord and, and his passion. They're still very joyful because, you know, as the Holy Father just said, they know how the story ends. Hmm. Do Montfort Music now exists to share a, a kind of a different kind of music, a different genre? Can you share your, your motivation uh, for, for putting De Montfort together with your husband? Yes. Well, my husband uh, was seeing that some of this, um, you know, religious music was either kind of going out just on someone's website or it was going out through bigger uh, global entertainment companies. But there are certain protections that weren't in there and it is no one's fault it was just that we know sort of both worlds and we came up with the concept of being able to sort of protect their image and likeness and let their community still be their community um, and working around who they are so we don't take them out and put them in a recording studio or in something artificial we come to them and try to work with them but we then bring the music out and work with the all different kinds of media to sort of shine the spotlight on it. Well, demontfortmusic.com is your website for all of your CDs. What else can visitors find there, Monica? 
Well, uh, we also have, speaking of nuns, we've also put out a, a beautiful uh, recording of the Dominican Sisters of Mary, who are kind of a teaching mission uh, order of nuns. And then uh, it's just interesting that Father just spoke about St. Paul and his parish mission, because we also have another label called Aim Higher Recordings. And for Christmas, we're going to be putting out the boys' choir there. So can't wait to come back and get into that. Well, Monica, thank you so much for everything you do and for joining us all the way from Naples. And we'll give you a call in August when it's about 98 down there and about 80 here. We wouldn't do Absolutely. that, Monica. Have a great day. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. God bless. Well, God bless you, too. Happy Lent.